Hey guys, welcome back to the shop again today. The other day when I bought the bottle openers for the drink tote, I went ahead and also found this little bottle opener right here. This was $3 as well from Hobby Lobby, but it was half off. They usually run specials like that where stuff's just half off and it's actually a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and bought this figuring that I could make a bottle opener at some point. Well, at some point has come to today. And for that, I'm going to be going to my local wood store. So we're over here at the Clean Spores Woodworking Shop. We're going to go see what they have for some of the material I need to make this project. Looks like a little light. Does it turn on? No. Oh, oh, look how bright that is. I've got a question for you. Yes, sir. I'm just getting into wood turning. Oh, cool. And um, I, I went and bought a like a little bottle opener tip. Do these turn the same as wood? No. No? No. So what? it's, um, you know, even different wood species turn a little bit different. Right. Just depending on the anatomy of the wood. Okay. But acrylics and resin based material mm -hmm. like and that. That's not even close. Um, while they, it's unlimited on the colors and stuff you get. Right. Um, you know, they're susceptible to some, you know, chipping if your tools aren't really sharp. Okay. The material's going to roll off different. It's sure going to smell it. But you don't have to have any different tools. No, you can, okay. use your, you can use your regular tools. So we are back from the wood store, and I decided that I would pick up two different blanks. So I've got one that's called the acrylic wildcat and then the other one is the acrylic lollipop color. Now I've never turned anything acrylic as you could have seen so I had to ask and get some help and hopefully this little blank is big enough for a handle. It doesn't have to be too big but I think that these will look really awesome on the bottle open. As the guy had said at the store, you know, they're susceptible to some, you know, chipping if your tools aren't really sharp. Okay. We need to have sharp tools, and I'm pretty sure that my lathe tools are not sharp because I have never sharpened them. I just ran them over some of the leather sharp that I have, which probably didn't really do anything maybe for it, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and put the grinding wheel back on my grinder and see if I can get some of my tools sharpened and ready for these acrylic blanks. All right, so I went ahead and got the grinding wheel back on here. I already got the tip of this little bowl gouge ground down. And now I'm coming over here to the lathe. I'm gonna get that all set up. And then one thing I noticed, you know, this is a Harbor Freight lathe and it came, I haven't bought anything extra for it and it came with this big tool rest, right? Well, there's a problem with that. The blank I'm using is this big. This tool rest will not work. So guess what? We have to weld together some steel and make our own tool rest. I mean, I never have claimed to be a welder, but the two pieces of metal are sticking together. So I think it's gonna work over here. And then I should be able to turn the smaller things now. And if I need something even smaller, I have more metal that I can weld up. Okay, so we've got the new tool rest mounted. We've got the pen blank on there. It's an acrylic style deal. And I noticed that I had burnt my shirt 
Well, I was welding. I almost caught myself on fire. So imagine that. That would have been bad here in a wood shop. But so we've got this on here and we're going to go ahead and get this turning. <laughs> supposed to do this you're supposed to have this on the lathe or whatever with the drill bit on the end but I don't have a setup like that so I'm making do with what I got and hopefully everything comes out straight so we're gonna put it right on the end and go slow not fast So that should be plenty deep enough. I need to go get another tip of the bottle openers, but we'll go ahead and cut this off real quick. All right, so there it is, the acrylic bottle opener stem. Now the reason why I don't have the end for this one that I showed you guys earlier is because I put it on this one. I picked both of these up today and I tested one out in case something didn't go right in case you know one broke or something like that I wanted to figure out how to turn it how to see what it would act like so I went ahead and turned this one I put this in and it won't come out now so it's stuck in there we got this one I'm gonna go tomorrow get the end for it you guys can look for it on Instagram it'll obviously be up there you guys can check it out on Twitter Facebook all that kind of stuff it'll be there so I've had a lot of fun today this is a new thing for me to try out I guess this is what you would turn pens with and is it's pretty fun this stuff is pretty cool looking and was really enjoyable to work I hate I burnt my shirt but I mean we did all sorts of things we sharpened tools we welded we made this little thing for the uh the lathe and it's still in one piece it's not falling apart so my, i wasn't sure if my lathe was going to be able to or the welder was going to be able to handle the thickness of the metal it's not pretty by any means but i mean who cares it's just gonna get used so it's there you guys thanks for joining me on today's vlog on the trip to clean spores thanks for watching me turn these i've had a blast hope you guys had fun watching I will see you guys on Friday's video.